Okay guys, here is how to add a movie clip to Blender. I'm T-Bone Pearson here, and I will be showing you uh, the shot here. I will, I won't scrub, I'll hit the space bar. And let's just see this video clip with transparency that's in Blender. So we start up high in the room, and I've used a camera projection uh, to put in that back picture there to make it look more 3D. If you'd like me to do a tutorial on that, just comment below and I could do one up pretty quick. Um, so it starts, let's pause this. All right, it's paused. Let's go to After Effects where I have the two actresses. Um, I can show you this clip here. Um, so I did a green screen and removed it and the black is transparent. Uh, again, I'm sure you guys know how to do that. Um, and then I've added this table uh, over the shot because we had green fabric underneath the uh, the pots and dishes there. So I added a table and I've rendered this out with an alpha layer. So basically just the transparency uh, goes with it. So your video and uh, the black represents the transparency. Here, I'll click this so you can see. The, you know, the chessboard here is showing it's transparent. Everything looks good. So you render that out. Now I can show you how I, I actually have to do that because I want to extend this clip a little longer. Um, so let's go up to composition and add to render queue. I'm gonna click lossless and make it a quick time and include project link. I'll just get rid of that. Now we have to do this, uh, right? RGB is your red, your green and your blue and that's your video. Um, but it will, if you leave this, it's going to render the blackout. Um, so what we want is RGB plus the alpha, and that's that transparency layer. So let's do that. Now let's name it something. Say OK here. Long shot Thorma and Drew. So let's do another clip here. Do, 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 do. Let's find that. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There it is. I'm going to click that and then add a two to it. Hit two, and then let's render. So I'm going to go over here to the right and click render. Okay, so it shouldn't take too long. It's going frame by frame. And when that's done, we're going to import it into Blender. Now we'll hear a little ding when it's done. So I can go over to here. And so this is selected. Um, so I'm going to go to shading up here on the top in the middle, click shading, and you'll see what I did here. So I have a, uh, an image texture that I added the video clip. It says movie and frames. I just jacked that up to 2000, but there's not 2000 clip or uh, frames. Um, now I'll show you one thing. The, you can get confused with these. So the frame that you want to start your movie on is your start frame. Um, originally I thought that that would mean it would start on frame 30 of your video, but no, that's not the case. I had those two mixed up. So, um, I wanted it frozen. If we go to the animation, um, you don't get to see them until, uh, so if I hit enter until frame 30, see th they're frozen. So at frame 30, it starts. So they'll be frozen from here because there's no sense to play the video. Um, until we actually see them. So right there is when I started. And that's because I did that in shading and down here. Um, okay, so I didn't hear the little thing go. Is it still going? Okay, just about done. I needed some more frames because it, it froze at the end because there wasn't enough frames. Come on, you can do it. There's like one or two more frames here. There we go. Oh, a pretty little noise. Let's go back here and now let's change this. I'm going to go to, this is the, uh, the old video, hit folder, and we should be in the proper thing here. And there it is there. Long shot Thorma and Drew 2. Let's add that. Now, is it still, okay, now I have to reset the start frame to 30. Hit enter. And I'm just going to jack this up because I don't know how many frames there are about. I'll make a pile. Um, and now let's go back to animation and see if it does what I'd like it to do. All right, frame zero and enter. 
See, they're frozen, and they start talking at 30. They should be moving. Are they moving? Yes, they're moving. And when this, the shot stops, uh, they should keep talking, which hopefully won't screw up my edit. I don't know what they're saying after that, but I just needed more frames. Are they moving? Yeah, she just blinked. All right, what about Drew? Are you moving? She seems pretty still. Uh, let's see, Thorma still talking. Good. Keep talking. Are our lips moving? Are they frozen? Don't be frozen. Uh, I think they're still moving. Yeah, good, they're still moving. Good. And I just want them to continue to move until the camera stops right here. Oh, not yet. It's coming. This goes to 180. You can set that in the bottom right hand corner. Um, okay, right there. The camera stops. Perfect. So let's see this in real time. Oh, not real time. Okay, forget that. All right, here, I'll show you this. Um, I'll switch to my camera view here so you can sort of see how this is set up. I'll toggle out of this. So there's my, my video layer that I set in there. Um, and yeah, so and there's the I made that top piece and that back is made from a picture frame and I've added did I put that photo in there I think this is a layer two this little photo yeah this little yeah that's a the fire layer I put in there as well so there it is guys if you have any questions about how to add a, a video with transparency to blender uh, let me know it's fairly easy now uh, I guess I have to render let's go back to my thing and um, let's oh I made a keyframe did I I shouldn't do anything um, I could show you how to render if you have a second. Let's go in here. Let's hit this folder on the right here in render output or output properties. Um, let's go back up. And I guess I'm running these out as frames. So let's go window rough six. We'll go window rough seven. Window rough seven. Here we go. And then let's call it what? Let's double click inside and we'll call it. I don't know, new shot. I do that a lot, I'll say new shot, but that's the shot would have been from like two years ago. I'm like, it's not new anymore. <laughs> okay, accept. Um, so it's all over here. And we're gonna save it as what, Targas? Yeah, I guess that would work. We don't need the alpha layer either. And you know what, by all rights, let's, let's do it in two layers. So let's do this. I want to have the actresses and the background as two different layers. So then if you choose, if you change something, you don't have to render the whole shot out. You can do it in elements and it'll save you a lot of time. Although it seems like it's time consuming. So let's go make another folder here. We'll go uh, actresses and throw it in here. And actresses. And accept. All right. So we want to do it as a RGBA now because we want the alpha layer. Um, and we want to get rid of our roof. And we want to get rid of our plane. Uh, what else do we want to get rid of? Um, we want to leave the ladies. Um, oh, I guess the fireplace has to go. Now this I think is just sitting in the background in the background. I don't think it's being rendered. Um, yes. I think where would that be? I'm not quite sure. Let's try just to render out a frame. Oh, that's odd. Let's see if that's actually rendering. Render image. So we're just going to do one. Okay, so there yeah, that, no that stuff is not there. So let's render this out. So we're going to go to render image and everything's all set. Perfect Targa with the alpha layer. Go to animation and let's watch. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Is in this lane, there's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Let's just import it uh, Now maybe I should just save this 
as new shot CG and then give an explanation because I don't even know what that means. So file, save as, and I'm going to say uh, Drew and Thorma drinking tea. Not really drinking it, but they could if they wanted to. It's sitting on the table and I spelt that wrong. Drinking tea. A lot of times you have to search for things if you got away from a project and so it's always good to name things properly. So let's just bring in, make sure that our layer, um, I guess we could just go new. Make a new project. New, new project. And let's just bring in our clip. Import. Uh, where are you? Spell Fury comps. And let's go, is it inside Thorman? Maybe? 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 I don't think so. I think I'm putting it in a weird folder. I think it's in like CG shots or something. Inside Thorma. All right, here we go. Good, good, good. I got to get better at uh, naming things. Okay, actress. Yep. And we just want to make sure, yep, that target sequence is uh, checkbox. There's a check in it, in the checkbox. All right, and let's just bring this in and have a look. Oh, let's grab it and bring it onto this composition layer. Okay, so I hope it's not rendering that out gray because that's not cool. All right, let's go to film here and click transparent. There, now we have the transparency layer. Okay, let's go to render image. It should be checker boxed. Um, checker boxed? I don't know. Is that what it's called? Checker boxed. I don't know. Chess like. All right, let's try another render, and this will um, overwrite the other one. And now that we have this, so you just go to Film. I'll minimize this. Yeah, it's down here. It's Film, and then go Transparent. Okay, so now this is rendered out, and I can... I had this other file here. We'll just quickly import File, and Thorma's Room say straight a matted throw it on composition import actresses windows row 7 actresses make sure that's checked and let's put that on top and now they're in the shot and we have control it's a little uh Hmm, that's odd. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I'm just it's showing through something back there. I don't know what I put in there. Um, but yeah, so there it is there. So they're on two different layers. So then if you want to do, um, I want to color correct that maybe the actresses are too dark for the, sorry, too light for the room. I can just go throw an exposure on there and bring down minus 0.5. There, now it's, and then I could, uh, now they're a little flat there, but maybe minus 0.25, something like that. And I can darken the, the room as well. Exposure minus 0.5. There, it's a little darker and and then you can just play play with stuff now the fire ah, uh, the fire's not rendered out okay so i have to do that again anyways guys uh that's how you render something out a, a movie clip with transparency using after effects and blender uh, i'm going to render it one more with the fire <laughs> and uh, although i could do that in after effects but no i won't i'll do it in blender so it's it's 3d ish um anyways guys if you have any questions comment below uh please like subscribe and i will talk to you guys later cheers bye